I'm Rachel Perry and I'm an artist. I'm currently working in uh, photography, video, drawing, sculpture, installation, uh, and performance. I'm a collector, but I'm also a minimalist. I, I get rid of things. So as much as I'm collecting, I'm discarding as well. I did for many years, uh, a project, six years actually, a project called the Deaccession Project, where I found one object in my household every day and I first uh, gave it a name, photographed it, categorized it, gave it a number and a title, and then either recycled it, gave it away, sold it on Craigslist or eBay, or threw it in the trash as a last resort. For many years I've been collecting fruit stickers. I come home from the grocery store and I harvest the stickers off of the goods that I buy, the fruit and produce, and stick them on wax paper as a way of holding them until I'm ready to use them to make drawings or backdrops for photographs. When I was in school, Agnes Martin was one of the first artists that, uh, whose, whose work I really, really responded to. You know, it's just about painting and, and uh, her absolute restraint. And I'm, I'm thinking very much about um, the, the emptying out, which is what Agnes Martin's work feels to me, and the reduction to the most important thing, the line, the color, the space. Um, it, I think that's in great contrast to this busy world uh, that, that we live in, this modern world uh, where we are full of noise, full of objects, and continually uh, coping with that. I was in Taos, New Mexico about a decade ago and uh, was lucky enough to be acquainted with Agnes Martin and a friend set up a lunch with Agnes Martin as our birthdays are one day apart. And uh, she and I shared a wonderful hour and a half, two hours, a couple glasses of wine and a beautiful steak and broccoli Asian dish together. And as um, I, we got up from the from the table after this wonderful lunch and conversation. I followed her out of the room and I turned back at the last minute and I grabbed her paper napkin, her soiled napkin. And I was momentarily horrified at myself that I had taken this very personal um, object from another human being and particularly Agnes Martin, one of the greatest female art, one of the greatest artists of the uh, 21st century and um, and felt that I'd somehow maybe violated uh, a privilege and um, and s felt so badly about it actually that I and I couldn't throw it away because I realized it was this powerful relic so I folded it up that afternoon and put it inside the envelope that somebody had scribbled the directions to the restaurant on for me and put that in my sketchbook and closed the book, sketchbook and I uh, haven't actually opened that sketchbook and opened it, the envelope to look at the piece until I was asked to think about a particular object. And this seemed to me the object that I wanted to talk about. I took it thinking, oh, I'll make, I'll make something with it. And that was the big piece of it, that I thought that this was a material for me and this is where I get most of my materials. Um, there are things that other people have left behind, they're discarded. Um, and what I realized was after I got home with this object is that it's already what it is. It's not going to become something and I have nothing to do with it and I have nothing to do to it and it just is the, the piece that it is.